Welcome to part two of our two Disney World resorts in two days adventure. Today we experience a taste of luxury at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. How does this deluxe hotel compare to Coronado Springs Resort? Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to the Grand Floridian, welcome to the Grand. We are so good and full rich people. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you. Is that their theme song? It uh, it was submitted as their theme song, but to this point, I have yet to receive any response. Uh, okay. Welcome to Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. You mean the Grand? L Grand Floridian, um, Disney's flagship resort, also their most expensive resort. We'll look up prices later, but for now, Let's get this entrance experience, which I do believe is actually worthy of the name. Yes. What do you I think? Wish, yes. Uh, I'm so excited. I love the smell of the Grand Floridian. I wish that you could be able to smell what it smells like when you walk in. They have their own very specific scent, and it's a delight. Located in the Magic Kingdom Resort area, Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa has 870 rooms spread over six buildings. According to Disney, the theme is Victorian elegance meets modern sophistication. Truth be told, the resort feels like it was decorated by a wealthy grandma who watches a lot of Downton Abbey, but that doesn't mean it isn't beautiful. I never get tired of walking in here. Mm -mm. Gorgeous. Mm -mm. not coming this trip because we don't have an extra $850 to spend before we have a child. <laughs> but it was worth it. Yes. It was a lifetime experience. It was awesome. We had a blast, but we can't do that again. The Grand is known for its elevated dining options, including the newer Enchanted Rose Lounge and waterfront favorite Narcoosis. But you know, the Grand is such a big resort. So like we're walking around now and there's buildings all over the place. We have not checked in yet. We don't know what building we have, but it is a really beautiful resort to walk mm -hmm. around because every building has a little bit, is a different scent. Every building yeah. has its own scent. Uh -huh. Different views, you can have water views, garden views. So, we have a garden view, I know that. Yeah, but we don't know which garden. No, we Perhaps don't. it's a secret garden. Hmm. Let's see. The Grand features two main pools, the Zero Entry Courtyard Pool and the Kid Friendly Beaches Pool. It's torture to have a beach right here that you can't get in because you just sit there and sweat, but yeah. it's really pretty. Yeah, but there's a pool right there, so yeah. yep. it's not so bad. When you can't check in, there is a little place nearby that you may have heard of. Are you ready to go to the Magic Kingdom? In the most convenient way. It just pulled up. The monorail was originally a futuristic form of travel, but now it just feels homey and comfortable, like a good old hoodie that you'll never throw away. This is the beauty of staying at the Grand, because you're so close to the Magic Kingdom, it takes away the worst part, which is the tram and yeah, the ferry. And, and I, I love yeah. that they changed the bag check to be at the resort, so you don't have to go through that when you yeah. get to the park. Bag check is so easy. like. They, it really is a premium for yeah. it, right? So now we can't check in yet, so we can go to the Magic Kingdom and yeah. play a little bit first. Yeah, I guess I should also self-edit now since you know, we're at the happiest place on earth or most magical or... We cuss a lot. Yeah. It's baby's first trip to Disney World. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wouldn't be right if she didn't do that dance. No. I'm, Dare I say I'm excited right I know, now. I'm like we don't ever do this. We're so jaded Orlando I, people, but I'll be honest, right now it feels pretty good. I'm embarrassed at how excited I am. I peed a little. Did you? Welcome to my life as a pregnant woman. We didn't make it far. No. Pregnant lady be happy. I'm so excited. I'm telling you, theme park popcorn just hits different. Oh, that's good. That's the way to do it. I got like 10. <laughs> it's a Disney hack. Your hands are so dirty. You just have to do this. Cinderella Castle. Some call it magical. 
We just call it a good holdover for when you can't go to Europe and see the real thing. So Disney snack number two you need to get, obviously a Mickey pretzel with cheese sauce. And? A fountain Coke because there's just something different about a theme park Coke. I vouch for that. Theme Park Oak is delicious. Let's take an ear out. I love the cheap Theme Park cheese. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Thanks for visiting us today. So good. Even in this thousand degree heat. <laughs> I'm sweating in my cheese, but it's still worth it. <laughs> so salty and good. Salty, good, and sweaty. Mm -hmm. Like us. Super excited because I got a Mickey Premium bar. I love Mickey Premium bars. And then I got like a thousand napkins because there's no clean way to eat a Mickey Premium bar. And you're about to see that, like for real life. Oh, it's so refreshing. Everything you wanted it to be? Give me a smile. <laughs> and this is what happiness looks like. Sneezing. This is when it all goes downhill. There you I feel go. Like you're just smearing it on my face. A little bit. <laughs> if you're wondering how to cool yourself in the Florida heat, if you don't want to be trapped inside a monorail with hundreds of very sweaty strangers, then take advantage of the dedicated ferry. There is nothing like a fresh sea breeze to combat theme park smells. Okay, so we just took the boat from Magic Kingdom to the Grand. Again, another perk of being here. Yes. Uh -huh. Definitely great. There's a walkway, which we would have taken if, if it, it weren't, weren't so hot. degrees outside. Yeah. Because our bodies were literally about to burst into flames, we hit the courtyard pool for some much needed cold water therapy. Freshly cooled down and relaxed, it was now time to check into our room, located in Building 5, Sago Key. One of the cool things about being in Sago Key, Building 5, is that it's quieter. You're not right where all the action is, so you get a little bit of a walk, but it's really quiet out here. It feels like we have our own private building, which is nice. We had a top floor room, which gave us a really cool vaulted ceiling. It gives the impression of being more spacious than it actually is. Though the room seemed a bit dated, it was comfortable, sparkling clean, and a welcome refuge from the Florida heat. This is nice. This is so nice. I'm ready for a nap. Okay, so we're at Gasparilla's, which is their quick service restaurant at the Grand, but the Grand Floridian Bakery is one of the better bakeries on property. You can't come here and not get some delicious treats. They always have great treats. Here, we've got their almond tart with the fruit on top, and then Michelle's super excited for her chocolate cake pop. Yeah, the Grand Floridian does not let you down in the bakery department. And they also have delicious coffees brewed here. Side note, we do teach food etiquette classes if anyone is interested. It's got a really good almond base, and the fruit and the berries are very juicy and fresh. And it's so good. You should try it. This is what we needed to wake <laughs> up after a nap. As you should always be prepared in Florida, it's a torrential downpour with a lot of lightning at the moment. But we managed to get back from Gasparilla's and chill out and watch the rain, and it is freaking pouring. I'm so relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're in this like fancy royal bed. So fancy. The Grand Floridian has like eight different restaurants, lots of different price points, wonderful food, no one can argue. But tonight we decided to do something a little different. 
What do we have? We have Slitter's Pizza, which is a place um, in Wintermere, I think, and uh, we love trying new pizza. So we are going to get our jammies on, and we're going to eat some pizza, and we're going to watch trash TV. By that, I mean cartoons, <laughs> and we're going to have a lazy night in. Sometimes you just need to like put on a robe and eat pizza in bed and really truly feel a resort. And that's what we're about to do. Indeed we are. Let's go. Coming at you live from Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, the flagship property of Walt Disney World Orlando. We have some amazing private dining supplied by Uber Eats. We got pizza. Okay, so here we have Oh, this is the Ranch Fredo, Chicken Ranch Fredo pizza. From Slitters. From Slitters. This is, oh, they're like honey garlic knots. Oh, honey garlic Parmesan knots. Yeah, that's right. Honey garlic. So excited. And this oh. is an Italian stromboli. That's like the size of our baby right now. Oh my gosh. It is. That's amazing. And we also have... Theme park popcorn, because I brought a Ziploc bag to Magic Kingdom and got a popcorn to go, because I love eating popcorn in bed. Resourceful. And we're watching Big City Greens. Again, to really fully enjoy a hotel, some days you just need to veg out in here. If we weren't filming right now, I'd just be in my boxers, sitting in here, wiener hanging out, eating pizza. I'd be naked with a slice of pizza on my giant pregnant stomach. <laughs> Look at this cool hidden Mickey. Okay, it's got basil, Ooh. chicken, peppers, bacon. Let's do it. Oops. Yeah, we've already spilled it in the bed, but we have two beds. True Michelle fashion. That's delicious. I regret nothing. This is how you enjoy a hotel room. It's so great. Sometimes it's easy to try and do too much in a short period of time. So we love to wind down and savor a hotel room. No matter what cool things we do on our trips, our favorite memories often come from just playing in the room. Well, we've just finished two days at two different Disney resorts the Grand Floridian, a deluxe resort, mm -hmm. and Coronado Springs, a moderate resort. And our reviews are in. First of all, there really is no bad Disney resort. They're all beautiful, mm -hmm. you know, they're fun, and yeah, we would really enjoy ourselves at any of them. Mm -hmm. The Grand Floridian obviously has an elegance to it, this old Floridian feel that's really pretty, and we really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. They have a good pool too. They have a great pool. I think mm -hmm. the pool winner to me and yeah. you yeah, is the too. Grand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think we were most impressed by Coronado Springs. Uh-huh, definitely. The room, the, like, it, obviously it was just revamped or renovated, so the bathroom was nice. It didn't feel, like, old. This one has an older feel. I think it's meant to. This particular building, I think, probably does need to be renovated. Yeah. It's still very beautiful. This there's, room is awesome. But there's ghosts in this we room. We did hear some ghosts. But, like, the way Coronado Springs has been redone, it almost has this, like, Vegas feel. Mm -hmm. To me, like the main building, and then like our room was beautiful, and then you could just walk around to all the new restaurants and places they built around there. So mm -hmm. again, the Grand, the Grand's restaurants is fantastic. We didn't dedicate our time and money to doing all the restaurants this time because no. we because we've done them all. We well, we've done them all. We did them all for a period of years, mm -hmm. and honestly, I don't think we could afford to do them all no. the weekend. Uh -uh. Uh, Coronado Springs was a little more affordable than uh -huh. that, which also helps because we we said at this beginning we're more of a moderate couple. Yeah, this this room would be about seven hundred and twenty dollars a night, not including tax right now yeah and coronado about the average price for this time would be about three hundred dollars a normal family seven hundred dollars a night it's out of our price range so i'm not not disputing how cool the grand is but where we think the bang for your buck is moderate resorts. moderate resorts coronado springs it wins out so again not knocking the grand what a great stay mm -hmm. super happy about it mm -hmm. but coronado springs you're our winner yep ding 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 we hope you liked our Disney staycation. If you did like it, please make sure that you click that thumbs up button down below and that you subscribe to Michaela Goes West because we certainly want to share all of our upcoming adventures with you. 
Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time, wherever we may be. Bye.